Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. AMC stock is up about a half of 1% at the time of recording this video. Now, here in this video, right about the time you're watching this video, we're going to be getting some earnings coming out. I'll go over those earnings if they are significant and or important to our markets. Now, um, one of them in particular could be. Um, overall, nothing too crazy though. I, th I think the, the next big earnings is going to be NVIDIA and then you're still going to get like Square and uh, some other companies that have not uh, reported earnings yet. So next week's still going to be a, a pretty uh, exciting week as far as earnings. But um, this week I will give you a rundown of what is left. Thursday is going to be the big day um, throughout the rest of this week as far as earnings, Coinbase, Roku, Trade Desk, all of those names. So I'll give you a rundown of that here in this video as well as what is going to be happening tomorrow what the economic data uh, calendar is looking like and uh, get you guys ready for that one now besides that we are going to go over everything you need to know specifically about amc stock here in this video so the work is cut out for us hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and uh let's get started so first things first let's take a look at the earnings that are coming out here right about now and that is airbnb upstart Robinhood, lyft mgm resorts akumi aig zillow group instacart and eqt so uh obviously some of these names a lot of these names you've heard of and you know of, but they're not, you know, broad market kind of moving names. Now, Airbnb can have a little bit more of an outsized effect on some of your travel, leisure, hospitality, but that's not a big sector of our markets. So it's not really going to move things all too much. Now, Coinbase, DraftKings, Roku, Trade Desk, DoorDash, Applied Materials, uh, some of those companies Thursday can definitely move our markets. Even Twilio and uh, Cisco, HubSpot, some of those guys can also um, move things around quite a bit. But today and after hours, potentially some big movers, Robinhood, Lyft, Upstart, Airbnb, they all have the potential to move big instacart it's going to be instacart's first earnings i believe since they uh did their ipo so nonetheless some very interesting names let me know what you think about this about these earnings throughout the rest of this week is there any company that that you're buying puts on you're buying calls on in anticipation of their earnings now as far as tomorrow and the earning the uh, economic calendar that we are going to have at two o'clock in the morning tonight inflation data out of the uk and then a bunch of other data in relation to that bunch of data out of europe as well if they are doing good if they're doing bad that can obviously have effects on our economy and on our markets as well but i'm not expecting a huge reaction based on this but we are going to get final ppi numbers month over month for december if those do move around or or change in you know one way or another well that could obviously be negative for uh you know the broader markets right ppi is like cpi right consumer price index but ppi is producer price index so if producer prices are rising that you know would make sense to why cpi just rose and to, depending on what degree in which that is happening well maybe it would make sense why inflation could continue to rise from here so that's going to be a little bit of a problem uh 17 week bond auction some oil data that will be coming out um Besides that, not a whole lot. Fed Goldsby will be speaking at 9.30 in the morning tomorrow. Um, and really, besides besides that, there's just not a whole lot that is uh, going on tomorrow. And then on, uh, let's see, Thursday, you are going to get uh, GDP data out of the UK. You are going to get retail sales month over month. You're expecting... Uh, a negative number here negative 0.1 percent that will affect your gdp estimates per the atlanta fed gdp now tracker which gdp estimates are estimated at about 3.4 percent currently so if that uh if that retail sales number comes in light then you're going to have a problem because i mean about 73 percent or so of GDP is based on consumers spending money. So if consumers are no longer spending money the way that they 
maybe once were. If you do get a big drop in retail sales, that's going to be a big problem for economic activity. <laughs> Philly Fed, all kinds of different data will be coming out on Thursday, but retail sales is your most important one. And then PPI month over month will be coming out for January at 8.30 in the morning on Friday. So two more big sets of data. Um, and then a lot of secondary data, smaller data points will come out throughout the rest of this week. Now, like I previously mentioned, AMC stock is well outperforming its peers, well outperforming the Russell. The Russell is down about 3.4% currently at the time of recording this video. AMC stock is up 1.5%. That is a very big divergence. And that is, uh, you know, great for AMC stock investors. Let, I, I mean, let's be honest, it's, it's not too often where that actually happens. And it's happening today. Very strange. Maybe you could make the argument that someone somewhere already knows something. Someone somewhere already uh, expects Adam Aaron to give us a commitment to not diluting shareholders or something along those lines. I mean, you could start to make some pretty um, wild assumptions just based on the massive outperformance that we are seeing today. I mean, this this does not happen all the time, not in the slightest bit, but it is happening here today. So let me know your speculations down below in the comment section. Why do you think AMC stock is massively outperforming? There is really just no rhyme or reason to uh, why this is happening. There's no you know, news that is coming out specifically for AMC. We did have that movie that was advertised, a couple movies that were actually advertised during the Super Bowl. You tend to see uh, companies that advertise do a little bit better over the next couple of weeks following the Super Bowl. I mean, look at Yeezys, right? Um, uh, Kanye said he obviously spent about $7 million for his Yeezy commercial in the Super Bowl, but that brought in almost $20 million of Yeezy sales within the next 24 hours. Companies, for that reason, do tend to benefit if they do advertise. At least their stock prices do. AMC did not do a direct advertisement, but there was definitely some movies that were uh, being advertised. Uh, uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and that other one that's that's kind of like the Wizards of Oz, you know, second one. Both of those movies come out later in the year, so that'll be interesting. Maybe people are just getting more excited about the end of the year, Fox office now like we said in the last video I, I want everyone to hear this just in case you missed the last video you're no longer pricing in your first rate cut in may you're now pricing in your first rate cut in june 51.5 percent chance of a cut in june 25.5 percent chance of a continued pause now there's only five meetings left um at when you get to june you'll have june July, September, November, and December. So markets are currently still now pricing in four rate cuts. You were pricing in five rate cuts yesterday. This data today is pushing that back to four, which is actually great news. Um, oh, I mean, overall, it'll make our market stronger if stocks can hold up with less rate cuts, right? But I mean, expect to give some of it back on the, these kind of knee-jerk unpricing events that we see which was definitely today i mean if you do not get good economic data uh or or bad economic data i should say or um good inflation numbers the fed's not going to be cutting rates at all this year and i don't think that's uh something a lot of people have even started to consider and that could be a big problem for stocks down the line with that being said, if we take a look at stock twits here, the sentiment barometers for AMC, we're, we are reading the same as yesterday at 81. That is extremely bullish. That's great news. Your message volume is a lot higher than yesterday. Yesterday was at 42. Today is at 58. So that's really good news. Also, now participation ratio is sitting at 41, which is categorized as low, but... It could be a lot worse. So I think that's overall uh, not a bad number that we are seeing there. So overall, it looks pretty good as far as sentiment for AMC stock. And let's be honest, the average stock is getting pummeled today. The percent of, so percent of stocks above their 50-day moving average is down about 12% today. So about 12% of stocks in our markets went under their 50-day moving average today. So considering this, it's kind of crazy that AMC stock is in the green at all today. Uh, it, it really does make me think something uh, deeper is going on under the surface that 
we just don't know about yet. So I think someone somewhere indeed does know something about AMC stock that we do not. Now, let's take a look here at the Ortex data. You do have one order totaling about $50,000 from hedge funds and institutions. It was a June 21st $4 put um, worth $50,000. $50,000. They bought this for about $84 a piece. 84 cents is the premium. So that means their break even is what? $3.16 per share by June 31st, which in all reality, that could definitely happen. We were just in the $3 range. If you get bad news on AMC's earnings, or if you get bad news in terms of dilution, anytime, you know, from, from now forever, basically, um, until AMC stock gets at much higher prices, that's going to be seen as very much bad news. So something I am personally always on the lookout for, but I mean, maybe this outperformance today has something to do with a commitment to not diluting shareholders. I don't know. It seems probable that hedge funds and institutions and market makers would get tipped off on that information that that was coming before, you know, the, the, the general investor does. So, um, Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? That's my speculation. Now, if you take a look at this Friday, you do have open interest of 68.12% uh, to the call side and to the put side of 31.88%. Volume to the call side of 78.36% and volume to the put side of 21.64%. So decently strong numbers there as well. Now, if we take a look at the short positions here in AMC, it's been basically rising like each and every single day. You're now at 1236 6 percent short interest of reflow, $141 million worth of short positions. Days to cover, 1.78. About 31 million shares that are currently sold short. Shares out on loan, 33.53 million. Cost to borrow, about 1.04% utilization of 49.3% and a short score of 64.06 uh, out of 100. So the data is getting better here, but still not, not that squeezy. You know, when you look at other stocks that maybe are 20 or 30 percent short, right? AMC doesn't stick out in that crowd. Now, if you're if you were of this channel, if you have been for a while, you're probably under the same assumption that I am that the short interest is probably higher. Now, all I really care about when the sh when I you know go over the short interest numbers here is this is what new new traders or investors in AMC are going to be looking at if AMC does what it's doing today is having a good day when the markets are red um, or just when AMC has outsized big moves. They're going to come look at these short interest numbers. The higher these numbers, the more likely you will, more likely you are to get more dollars coming into AMC. So the higher the numbers here, the more likely you are to actually see a short squeeze, whether or not the short interest is, as I believe, about 200 or so percent. Could be higher than that, could be lower than that. That's just my personal opinion. Now, Stocko Tracker data, we could, um, you know, see quite a move towards the end of this week, especially if someone somewhere does know something. And uh, that's why AMC stock did well today, because you do have quite a bit of option activity. Um, calls, you do have about 30,000 calls that expire in the money currently by this Friday. 86,000 calls that expire out the money by this Friday. That if all of these options were to run into the money, which I doubt they would, you're talking like $10 strikes as well here. Um, but that would be about 8.6 million shares market makers would have to go out and buy. That would be a big, big problem for the shorts. Um, and long story short, we do have some dry powder here on, uh, in the options market to really get some things going with AMC if the right news does come about now if you take a look at the put side you have in the money puts at about 15,000 out the money puts at about 39,000 so some option activity as well to the put side but again I just want to stress that AMC stock is in the four dollar range sure could AMC by the end of this week fall under you know four dollars of course but are you gonna fall to 350 or three dollars or under probably not so a lot of these puts likely will expire worthless so, and when people are so bearish on AMC, people are so pessimistic, they go out to buy stupid options, right? Like $2 puts that expire by Friday and a dollar puts. Like those are never going to hit unless something, you know, were to drastically happen or go wrong with AMC. 
And uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are wasting their money here on some puts. The calls look a lot more attractive, and I think people are realizing that at least um, a little bit more today. Now, 10-year Treasury yields are up almost 12 basis points today at 4.28%. Um, wow, you're starting to uh, get back up there. If we get to about 4.5%, that's where things start to uh, potentially go wrong in equity land, like in a larger in a larger way. At least that's what I'm hearing from hedge funds and institutions. That makes a lot of sense to me. Um, you know, once you get to about 450, you, you start to see the equity risk premium really start to look bad. That means like, like if, if, if you are taking risk in equities, it doesn't make sense. If, if you can get four and a half percent on a 10 year treasury, um, unless you're in some of your AI names, right? Um, specific stocks, then Bonds do look pretty attractive here, especially for, you know, um, retirees or people with a lot of money. And I mean, just for context, if 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 you stuck a million dollars into 10 year treasuries right now, you're going to get paid about forty three thousand dollars a year just in passive income. And you're not going to risk any of your principal value. So if, if you are someone that is, you know, retiring or looking to retire, well, <laughs> Look no further than your 10-year treasuries. That is a uh, looks like a fantastic uh, place to be for uh, those individuals, those Americans that might have more money at their disposal. And same is true for hedge funds and institutions. They are also going out and buying lots of treasuries right now. So uh, there is all of that. Again, nothing specific that's going on with AMC stock that I can actually think of, uh, but definitely a notable outperformance today. The, the uh, Russell is down 3.5% still. Uh, it's really just been pinned there for a lot of the day. And AMC stock is up about a half of 1%. This is one, two, three, four green days in a row. Um, I mean, besides this day where AMC fell 3%, you would be up 6 days in a row. You have seen a total change of momentum with AMC ever since AMC on the RSI broke above uh, 30 and went into a positive territory. We called this out. It's happened exactly how we thought it was going to happen. Question is, does it continue from here? I think we can hit as high as that 50-day moving average. It, it's going to vary day by day. It's going to move as the stock does move, but that's currently at $5.34 per share. That looks like a pretty good level um, that I'm personally targeting on AMC stock here in the near term. Now, that is, that's really without any, you know, um, good or bad news. If you get good news, AMC stock is going to run, you know, higher than that. If you get bad news, AMC stock is going to um, fall like a rock. Let's just put it like that. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about this information down below in the comment section. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.